My name is Thomas Troel Smith and I'm representing the Copenhagen Electric and we are part of the Danish organization involved in the pro EMI project. Uh, we mainly work um, as a part of the work package 3 and 3.2 is working with markets. And in Denmark we, uh, we kind of having a, a two-way string on this one. We have done um, a great report which will uh, uh, be uh, detailed, or I'll be talking about the details in that one. And we also did a large survey. So we have like a quality analysis and we have a quantity analysis. And in the end of that, we end up by uh, also being a part of a huge campaign to increase the interest and the uptake of EVs in Denmark. So, uh, so we kind of have three different subjects that I could run through here in my presentation. So um, <coughs> to go straight into the report we've did is... Um, We've done this big survey. We have asked um, a Danish um, analysis company called Megaphone to, to do a survey about the general interest and understanding of EVs in Denmark. From that, we got a lot of uh, very interesting results and therefore we decided to work on that with uh, extending the survey into also a more qualitative analysis. So um, we, we, we done a, a huge report building on incentives for increased EV uptakes, also to understand how does the incentives work in Denmark or in Europe in general, and, uh, and what can be done to increase the interest and also the uptake uh, by incentives. Uh, also about the public knowledge and perception of EVs, because in Denmark we've been working with EVs for almost 10 years, but the uptake is, is very limited, and therefore we need to, to understand why, what is it that keeps people from doing it, and on the other side, the ones who has done the investment, what is then the outcome and the results, and are there any uh, any important facts to to actually um, to provide for others to to make them be more interested in in going into e-mobility? So a big report, also having private stakeholders, public stakeholders, policymakers in, interviewed, and and by qualitative analysis, showing some results from that. Uh, then also uh, one of the perspectives in the uh, ProEMI project and working with markets is the two car households. Um, we, we want to, to understand that market and see because there's a lot of people with two cars in their families and what happens when you actually get an EV. Will it be your primary car or your second car? Because it has been a perception for many years that people investing in EVs would be second car households, but actually it turns out to be the primary car when they actually bought, buy it. So that is also some part of our report. Um, as we say, we also try to, to understand the, the public market, talking to associations in Norway, Denmark and Sweden and Germany about the general perceptions of EVs in their country. That's also a, a huge part of the report. And in the end, we have this big questionnaire analysis with about 40 questions asked to all kinds of people representing the whole population of Denmark, asking them general questions about their understanding of EVs, infrastructure, no knowledge about batteries, lifetime, TCO. So we have a lot of things being uh, examined um, in this uh, questionnaire and actually uh, one of the things that we're trying right now in the project is actually to uh, to have this analysis or this uh, survey done in all countries so we can actually compare results and see the different states and the different regions of Europe. That has not yet been decided finally, but hopefully we can actually carry that on. <coughs> And, and one of the main reasons for that is also because in Denmark we've actually seen some pretty remarkable results going from this uh, questionnaire because we, we got the business of e-mobility together, all the different stakeholders. We told them about this survey, we told them about the results and in general what we <coughs> we came out was that actually there is a, there is a big need to, to, to speak out with a common voice. There's a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of misunder uh, misperceptions. So, so there is, a, there is a need to, to, to speak out in a common voice for all the stakeholders in the business. So actually by, by talking about this survey, by understanding the differences and, and, and the needs, we got the whole business now together. We, we joined in and now we're doing a huge campaign which will hit the Danish market late August. Um, it will be named <laughs> Ignite Your Dream. Um, it says put power into your car dream and of course talking about e-mobility in general. So what we do is that based on the survey, based on all the facts and all the, um, the findings in that uh, survey, we can actually address some, some big issues. Um, so the campaign will be mainly digital. 
uh, we have a, a budget of about 125,000 euros for doing that. And then um, we'll do a lot of different uh, funny things. Uh, the campaign will be mainly driven by a website, and the and the website is uh, is is done with a lot of uh, funny pictures, puzzles, quizzes, different vile elements which can go online and Facebook, Instagram and all those things. So uh, getting people to either test an EV or to test their beliefs, test their myths, misbuffering is also a big part of it. So done in a, um, in a funny way, easy access and, and easy to understand and hopefully also by being supported by the Ministry of Transportation in Denmark will have a huge impact on, on the interest and of course the attention also to be um, buying an EV. So in general, those are the <coughs> kind of uh, different things. These are some of the elements of, of what we're doing. The myths will be stated. You can then press one of the myths and then it will change and then we'll get to be told the right story of how things is actually working or or that because we, we see that there's a lot of um, confusion, loss of misunderstanding in the market. So hopefully we can we can help them to be wiser and, and hopefully to be more even uh, even more interested in buying an EV. So that's kind of the different things we've done in Denmark and then and, and the report will also be a part of, of a process of getting a, a workshop or a round table um, to also to increase the interest from for leasing companies and, and have more companies involved in buying, changing their fleets to EVs. So so we will be working together with, with, with the market and working together with leasing companies or OEMs to actually have round tables and uh, workshops based on the findings we have in the report that we're doing. So a lot of things is going on in Denmark and as a part of the Pro-EMI project. Thank you.